What's going on everyone? Hey, I'm going to quickly walk you through the new BRP Go app and how I go about saving my rides. So first make sure you have the latest version of the BRP Go app uh, downloaded to your phone. And then we're going to hop in here and click on the big navigation box up top. That'll bring you to your current location and as you can see here uh, in Wisconsin, a lot, of, a lot of trails. So I'm going to do a ride, let's say I'm going to be going up north this weekend and I'm going to go to the Eagle River Three Lakes area. So as you pinch and zoom with your fingers, that will essentially determine what size is going to be able to download to your phone. So, And we'll walk through that in a second. So I'm going to click the, uh, that area right here. And then at the bottom right, I'm going to hit the go and save for later. What that uh, gives you the ability to do is that you can name this ride, rename it. So I'm going to rename this uh, Eagle... River area. Hit save. And the key thing here now is you can see there's, there's an offline area available. So I'm going to click the download. So what this does is this allows, essentially pulls all that map data and downloads it to your phone. So it can use the maps whether you do or don't have cell phone service. So you can see that's the offline ready. I'm going to go back home here and then you can click on your rides there on the bottom right and you'll see that you have this eagle river area ride that i had saved if i open up that ride and zoom out you can see now you have this dash box around the area anything in that area is what you essentially just downloaded to your phone so when you're out in the trail and you pull this ride up all of those trails will be there regardless of whether you have cell phone service or not um, so that gets you ready to go. So plug your phone into your uh, USB within, uh, within the sled. You can hit start and you're on your way. Hope this helps.